everybody. My name is Luke, and as some of you probably know, my favorite movie ever is the original uh, Evil Dead. came out in 1981, uh, directed by Sam Raimi. Um, and so, I am a fan of the franchise, and by that, I've seen both sequels to the original and the uh, spin-off TV series, and for the most part, I enjoy those quite a bit, but I was holding off on watching the... Um, the 2013 remake for a while because the, a lot of the reasons why I love that first movie is because it was it was made by college dropouts for less than half a million dollars and somehow it still managed to be scarier than most most movies that are made today for several million dollars and so um, so the franchise as a whole is after the first movie was a serious horror movie, but then the sequels and the TV show afterwards are more of a comedy. And so that kind of the franchise was known for that. But this movie, 2013 remake, was um, more of a remake of just that original movie and not the franchise as a whole. So um, that's what a lot of people don't like about it because it's not a comedy. And I don't have an issue with that because that first movie is my favorite. I prefer the, the seriousness of that movie. Um, I do like the sequels in the TV show, but I prefer that it takes itself more seriously, even though it's incredibly cheap. Um, I still enjoy it, and I don't, I don't think that um, the comedy and the sequels work as well. A lot of people like those movies better, and that's fine, but I prefer this one, uh, the original, better. But um, what I, the reason why I wasn't going to watch this this one for a long time is because. Um, it was, the reason why I loved that first movie was because of the budget and because of the people who made it. And this, while it was, it did have the seal of approval by Rob Tapper, Bruce Campbell, and Sam Raimi, but it was made, written and directed by a, um, Fede Alvarez, and, um, I mean, for it, it has a pretty substantial budget. I don't remember the exact number, but... Um, so I was like, it doesn't really appeal to me because the reasons I like the original one aren't here for this one. So I was pushing it off for a long time, but then I decided I was, what the heck, I'll watch it. And I did, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, a lot of the complaints that people have is that it's not an Evil Dead movie. And people say that a lot about, you know, The Last Jedi. It's a good movie, but it's not a good Star Wars movie, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so... Um, I don't necessarily like that um, criticism of it because I like to look at a movie as its own by itself and determine if it's good or not as opposed to comparing it to the rest of the movies that came before it. And so I think that this movie is pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to look at it as on its own though because there's a lot of callbacks and references like in most remakes. And so it's on the one hand, it kind of is a standalone movie, but on the other hand, it's not. It's very much tied to the franchise, but... And so it's it's kind of hard to decipher what this movie is on its own. Um, but I, I, liked it. I liked it overall. Uh, and what I like about it is that it's... A lot of remakes, a lot of movie remakes today are... They want to take what you liked about the original and just do that again. We see that a lot with Disney. Um, but this movie... It has little references to the originals, but as far as, um, it has a lot of its own stuff. It makes its own path. Uh, all new characters, which I like. I would be upset if they just recasted the original characters, because they're so iconic. You can't recast, those. <laughs> you can't recast Ash. Um, but, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Um, there are some of, there are five main characters, and I would say two or three of them are kind of bland. And my favorite character, uh, Jean Levy, for Chang Levy, she's one of the main characters, and for a large portion of the movie, she's not, she's not there, I guess is a good way to put it. And that middle portion is definitely the weakest part of this movie, because it's headlined by some of the more weaker characters. But yeah, Jean Levy's great in this movie. Um, yeah, I enjoy this movie quite a bit. Um... I wouldn't say it's as good as the original, but I would say it's probably... I don't know, is it better than the sequels? You tell me. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just saw it, so it's still kind of sinking in. Um, 
yeah, if you're a fan of the original movies, there's a lot of practical gore, which is, which is, I don't want to say it's fun because it's played very, very seriously and uh, gory. Uh, I would say it's even in most cases it's a lot gorier than the Saw movies. Um, so, but so if you like practical effects and gore, definitely check this movie out. It was said that um, it's probably the goriest mainstream movie ever made, and it might be. Uh, I know that it used the most blood ever in a movie. I think like 200,000 fake gallons of, no, they're real gallons, but gallons of, real gallons of fake blood. Um, yeah, so I guess that's, that's it. Um, if you've seen this movie, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Is it better than the original? Is it not as good as the original? Has it hold, hold up to the sequels? Uh, let me know what you think. Also, subscribe for more good content. I will see you next time.